ตั้งอยู่ในเชียงวินตั้งอารมณ์รู้มาเรื่องที่อินจีจางเชียงอเมริกาที่ทั้งบุญยงดีเนี่ยอินจีจางกอดซูนเดอร์ที่จริงๆ
ते हाय कोमी तो जैसा अने तो ते जो मगा चहे तो बा कदू कदू कांटे में तो बांसी गई यान सामसा क्या जो I think quite strange, right? And that the kids are very serious. Some of them, and the ones that are super corona shy. Usually, um, when I'm asked to um, give a speech, and I prefer to think of it as a speech or an address rather than as teaching. Teaching sounds like lecture, and I don't really feel like much like. A, a lecturer. It's not easy for me to think of myself as somebody who lectures others. No, no, so teaching. Really teaching. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> we have argument. I <laughs> don't know what he said. Uh, but today so, I have this. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, so, you when should I. Be careful, this. Yes. <laughs> But, so when I'm asked to give a speech, when I'm asked to give a speech, I basically think of it as a forum for me to voice my thoughts, which um, I tend to do without preparation. Sometimes um, I do prepare, but actually preparing sometimes makes things uh, worse because I discover that what I've prepared is too long or too elaborate for the amount of time involved and then I have to uh, not do that, and then I really don't know what I'm going to do. So I think what I will do is speak spontaneously and express my thoughts uh, of the moment. I think that's better. I'm not going to speak about uh, complex philosophical issues or uh, logical reasoning. I'm going to talk about my own personal experience. For one thing, I don't feel up to presenting vast, exalted, or profound things. And also, I think that although you might uh, find it a little strange, that it's uh, more appropriate and beneficial for me to speak to you directly and personally. Okay. Tak tahu betul ya. Jangan orang cakap ni, jika saya dengar lagu melu, si Amerika, atau Amerika lama betul ya. Tapi cuma demi nasib saja ada. Jadi dari Indonesia ni, cuma demi nasib saja di Indonesia ni, tapi tapi cuma cuma kerja saja di sana, susu dia. Tangga yang dia buat cerita, rawa yang dia buat cerita. Yang cik cuci lalu cawan ni, tiap hari macam apa cerita? Tapi, tu cuci ni jeng lalu sama ribet. Tapi ni buat cerita ni, tiap hari tu rawa yang dia buat tangga yang dia buat cerita. Jadi tu, tu ni cik kita rawa tu tangga siapa buat yang dia buat? Ini, tu kerja cik nak lor le. Cuci cik ni rawa tu tangga yang dia buat, makes things easier sama ribet. Tadi leh labur cerah ba, cerah jenis je 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 yang tu kalah karu cina yang kasi, macam, kalau tangga cina ham orang, ini transit je nak leh cuci cuci dalam ni macam ni, kalau tangga cina ye, kalau yang ye, tu tak kerap je susu sampai ye, tapi tak tu siapa ni, eh, sampai leh labur ni macam ni buat. Tadi cuci cuci kan tangga cina macam siapa ni juga harus, dengan di sini. Maksudnya, tadi tadi yang aku cuci tu dah spiritual semua macam tadi, religious spiritual. Tadi ni leh aja, kasih aja, kebab yang mesti aku kasih dia ada. Ni tu pun, dia leh aja kebab yang dia biasa, kebab yang baru macam tunggu ye, religious dan spiritual. America is a country where um, there are many different spiritual traditions. And um, 
by the laws and customs of this country, you have complete freedom uh, to choose uh, which, if any, spiritual tradition you wish to involve yourself in. Those without faith in any spiritual tradition are free uh, to uh, avoid them. And this tremendous freedom, uh, from one point of view, of course, makes things very easy. You are completely free to choose which tradition to practice. But from another point of view, it makes things harder, more complicated, because there are so many different spiritual traditions represented in any one large American city uh, that it must be very difficult to actually decide uh, on uh, one. Now, I'm not going to address the topic here of which tradition uh, you choose. And by the way, when we talk about spiritual traditions, you have two words in English. One is religion and the other one is spirituality. And there appears to be some debate about whether or not these terms are synonymous. Personally, based on my understanding, I think there is a difference between spirituality uh, and religion. That spiritual somewhere, religious, that the get to unity, chulu sadi, that chulu sadi, just came in the other. That spiritual sadi, that the spiritual sadi, again, Karakamus doti, the Sambuam, Gawarji, the way. That it is in the Sammatang, I need to draw the Jews. Tak and Dakaini Mine. And a Gavaji Shizai Ngu Yagi Nang Semgi Yuan, Tushi Nige Yuan Dandi, and things of Dana Jeda, and Gasha Tonga Ruchi, the Nijin Badado Sam Chagus. In speaking of about spirituality, and I'm not really sure what Tibetan word would be equivalent to that, but in speaking about what I think of as Dharma, as opposed to a tradition of Dharma or tradition of spirituality, I think we're really talking about the cultivation 
of the fundamental goodness, fundamental virtue, uh, the, of which we are all capable. And I, this is why I think there's a difference between spirituality and a spiritual tradition, because the cultivation of goodness or virtue per se does not really necessitate, does not really require following a set of customs or an established uh, rule or spiritual system. We definitely need uh, to cultivate our own innate goodness, our own innate capacity for virtue. But this does not necessarily require adherence to an established tradition. That is a matter of choice. Each individual can choose whether or not to follow a spiritual tradition for themselves. Well, what then is spirituality? In essence, I think it is the cultivation of innate human goodness, benevolence, the understanding of the interdependence of ourselves and others, and the cultivation of a sincere wish to be of help to others, the development of the means of helping others, and the insight that enables us to do so. And this is a mental development, a development of the spirit, not merely external or material development. I think that is what spirituality is, and I think therefore it does not require adherence to a specific tradition or path. It could involve that, but that is a matter of personal choice. I think the basic idea is to be a good person and to deepen and increase those innate virtues which we all possess, which make us a good person. Mm -hmm. Uh, religious uh, follower, spiritual practice, that is a choice. That is a religious follower, spiritual practice, and that is a first step, the basic cultural. Uh, uh, I understanding some of it. That the car would sana. It takes a shame. The Rango Rangsi is some of it. Rangi, Rango Rangsi, that Rango Rangsi is doing some such thing. Some machine does that your Rangi sem, Rang water bridge, sem water out of the Kudua. That didn't read Amar that the Rango Rangsi is at the antique Ramare. Kada the media go to two moments every Saturday. That two moments beyond the Adi Anedic in Saji said is a lebetic cheer, a kitchen water. That in a leba di di Dagger's rather biological summary. Leba the chick woman, yeah, two moments in Bajik Karsadi or Sana. Lando moral ethics summary. That teaches you get some of those. Two moments in Bajik. Me too, maybe. The child, biological, the basic labor sort of mobile genes, good to but mobile teletene, mature teletene, and meet the two more members. The she gave us on the mass heavy. Langdor, Langdor student, more in heart, some of it. Lasso. That the eat on a message her man or some do. The name you sane, Takada, Azu, Missing be in you sane. Media or Jansingi and Sangi Sambo Karimba, Yamba Karimba, and Danazi Negoki Tatian Negoki Sangens of Mayba, Pugan Jimbugi, and a penny Pemba Karimba, Neva Karimba, that did those sent to a university milliare that did you have the Jesus Hakwa chair, and Danazi D. Tender with Penug, Langdor Chadia, Ranchi Buchado Mamba, Rangi Nia Horna Yebe, and it's Semjin Same Chedo, 
Nanti bejo tong tu yar bersih. Tadi ni ada rangur rasis saya, tadi ni ada ni jual kuah ni ya. Lasa. Mata yang rangur rasis saya tadi, tadi yang semua tu apa suara dunia mata. Wow. Cool. Whether someone um, can you hear me? Okay. Whether someone becomes a uh, religious follower or a spiritual practitioner uh, is a matter of individual personal choice. But whether whatever choice you make in that regard, what I see as the fundamental point, the first step, the basic understanding that really has to um, underlie uh, any choice in that regard uh, is the recognition of oneself. Now, when I say the recognition of oneself or self-recognition, I am not using this term in the technical meditation sense of the recognition of the mind's nature or anything highfalutin. I mean something very, very basic and ordinary. Well, what do I mean by the recognition of oneself? We have all been born as human beings uh, in this world. And as human beings, uh, we have certain natural or innate abilities that um, appear to be uh, unique among the many species which inhabit this planet. According to um, the human biology, our understanding of the brain and so on, there's something very special about the way human beings uh, think. And I think that this is more a matter of the heart than the brain. It's that every human being has the capacity for ethical choice. And I think the capacity for ethical choice is what really makes us uh, special. Humans know the difference between right and wrong. And I don't just mean temporary right and wrong or what is immediately gratifying or unpleasant. I mean long-term right and wrong. We know how to choose between what is going to be helpful and what is going to be harmful. And I don't just mean helpful to oneself and harmful to oneself. I mean that which will be helpful, not only to oneself, but to all the other beings in one's greater environment. And this capacity for understanding is what I mean by self-recognition or self-awareness. And I think um, this, gaining of this, using this, is the first step. Jazang Tadi yang kau ajar jenis ni cik dia, ngaji cik cuci alat tebal cik asal ada cik idea lah cik, beja kau bawa bawa cik topor lah cik, tak kena semua tadi. Basic, dia ni ada tengkis siapa ni si, ngaji rancin lagi lagi, dah kau cuci mi, cik yang dia dah, dia suruh dia sama lagi makan aje. ตัดชื่อเทวายิจิชิดุสานตกด่าหรือไม่ตกสุดหรือไม่ที่เกี่ยวอะไรไปที่เชิงบุรุษที่ที่พิสุมชอบหรือไม่ที่จอดตาเช
Jazan as much in a chain, Yamlet, she do name, go to and do some tambo, tambo, and she could do some jobs at the day, Mimba. Tambo, I was Benedict, Lord Cassoy. Lord on them, she can be Cabria. Tambo, Tanzonia, Yimba. Mado Tambo, and just right, Mimba. Tambo, Tanzonia. That Tanzonia was in the same way, and my dear Tacanda, so soon, Missy in Beijing, Tanti, Sierce. And the near rebels, <laughs> and it is Chua Midava, that's Chua Midava Susanne. And the day you go and call in among we are Takanda Chene, Tambung as a go to city. Cashway, as a Mizi in Bajine, then go to Che, and Drazi Mato Tambonezi, and the Chick Sams of Church, the Tambonezi, flying Baranji Shishara Cheche, Jinrua, Jing the Jig Sang Lava, the Jisanga, those living and Richie, Jig Zobosham Chagar, which Sobacham with the Shakasham book, this will come to Zan. Then it's a Gazanji in Don Doris some Dangarich. We need to tell him Mizigi basic got a practice to get me upset. That is Chimboji, Tombojili, and Zandro, you were so hard as you are. I did the Galakab Shah. Miss Ambaja Majabalia, Sobacham Boji Chagalakabuda, Chagasham Chagalakabri. Magic Lamajik Sunji or in Druba, you Lamajik Sunji. That Lama de Ming did she was coming to Jane Kong Garasana. Church of what chamber you be, maybe Casa to what chamber drug your way is. The Nichi soon are ready. Marasam the Pembroke do something to you. Not to churdy, so soon Yamlinchia, church, drop what chamber you do that, so so be yons to drop or chick, yin some sort of retained what that drop us over that you may presume to over. え、<音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> When someone, in addition to that uh, first step, has faith in Dharma, becomes involved in spirituality, becomes what we call a believer or practitioner, they're supposed to be different from most people. Uh, they're supposed to be a little bit better, more spiritual uh, than others. But in fact, often the opposite happens. We are, are believers, we are spiritual practitioners, but sometimes we are even worse than the rest of humanity. We behave even worse than ordinary people. Uh, this is a problem. And I think this problem is caused by there being too much fantasy in the way we approach uh, Dharma. We are inspired by the exalted or high concepts and ideas to which we are exposed in Dharma. And that's okay. The problem is we get so inspired by the uh, high or exalted concepts that we ignore the basics. We ignore the basic need to embrace our humanity and to make sure that Dharma and our humanity not be isolated from one another. We must never allow the practice of Dharma to enable us to ignore our natural and innate human abilities. We become impractical in our spirituality when we ignore this. We are so involved in our imagination of the divine and in our fantasies that we ignore that which is practical and necessary. We definitely need a faith in Dharma that is not based entirely on a fantasy. It needs to be based on practical considerations. After all, when we start practicing Dharma, we don't even begin with the practice of taking refuge in the Three Jewels. Before we even get there, we start 
by contemplating the four thoughts which turn the mind. And the first of these four thoughts, the rarity of human birth, is really the contemplation of humanity, the contemplation of what it means to be a human being. And then after that, then we can go on to study further, to meditate on impermanence in various ways, and so on. But we have to start our practice of Dharma and uh, base our practice of Dharma on the understanding of ourselves as human beings and the understanding of the ethical choices and virtues uh, which make uh, humanity unique. We can't start by imagining ourselves as gods. Sometimes when we get involved prematurely in Vajrayana and we, we are swept away by the beauty of the Vajrayana iconography or by the profound ideas such as profound teachings such as Mahamudra uh, or the Great Perfection. And we try to practice these very high or exalted meditation systems with the great hope or ambition that we will become high or exalted ourselves. But the problem is sometimes when we do that we skip or bypass the necessary first step of becoming a good and decent human being. I think it would be very, very unlikely that anyone could realize the great perfection or Mahamudra without becoming a good and decent person uh, on the way. It was with this in mind that an eminent Drukpa Kaju master said, it is not sufficient that the Dharma be the great perfection it is also necessary that the individual or human practicing it become greatly perfect. We ha this uh, saying, which is often repeated, I found it very, very helpful. Sometimes we ignore this, this need, and we think that um, the, the, uh, we identify with the tradition or techniques that we practice, and we think that our involvement with that tradition automatically raises us to the level uh, described in the teachings of that tradition. We think that if we practice the great perfection, we automatically become the embodiment of great perfection. But in fact, it's not that easy. We have to pass through the various stages of development which will lead us uh, to that state. So I think it's very important that we not allow ourselves as human beings to become isolated from or separated from the Dharma we practice. Maybe it's <laughs> And me, but control the way it's just so shallow, me. Miss somebody chat to me, Danny. That, uh, that's when you're somewhere that negative tone, but Lord Jansi, Miss somebody chat to me, die at the so shallow. That's the bridging, not on the year. She am at the late time over. I was in New Zealand, one of those as I can see. But the name to stand that it's so shabby, you know, the territory. I think, uh, therefore, that maybe, and I, I should emphasize that I'm saying maybe here, it is actually more important for beginners to uh, emphasize the becoming a good person than it is to emphasize faith uh, in the three jewels. The way I see it, it is more important uh, to, be, to become and be a fundamentally good and decent person than to cultivate one's faith uh, in the sources of refuge. And I think this is one of the implications of the often repeated statement the preliminaries are more profound uh, than the main practice. In any case, we need to establish a stable foundation for
for all subsequent spiritual development. Without this stable foundation, with an unstable foundation, or even worse, no foundation at all, it seems to me impossible that any authentic development really occur. So therefore, I think this is important. That's the name. That's jumping chain. That's the chain. That's the That topic jumping chain. That's the 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 Dangazuita that Dharma said, Sick the Tunda Mongol Jores. That come Dilia and the Dharma Sadi and Pugian Anola, Church Guare, Church Sadi, Pugian Anola, Tunda Caressa, subject save it to Naradua. Subject Gaba, Gua Tampa, that lives in that area. And Dana see, oh, subject Gaba, Gua Tampa. And I said, You should have seen the and the subject of your time as it was done. The subject gamine or the Dutch Candice Gago or Senator, Chesadi Chigi material summer of them, nobody get the Guatonski. That did he get a mimicha? Did the church subject gamma you said it is all similar subject gamma? That is so good. The need to send them you, eh, that church is unseen is in so many rings. Chess on number Missua, the children shall be yard. Chess on that is similar, and a number Missua, Shua, they were unseen of Chilia, Gurtubchon in Bina, and a chug of good and dubre. Take Gurmatubina, and a chug of good and madubre. The need to chava seduzane, and that you get Cashway. Cassia <laughs> And now I'm going uh, to jump to a different topic. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm what? Understand? But <laughs> that in Asia, the <laughs> boy, you <laughs> born boy, it's good. You know? Let it. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and now I'm going to jump to a new topic. The term that we use in the Buddhist tradition uh, for spirituality is uh, dharma, and I think there is a difference between uh, dharma and uh, religion. Um, religion refers to a specific tradition and uh, dharma, I think, refers to what uh, traditions are designed uh, to do. Now, there are, traditionally we uh, identify 10 definitions of the Sanskrit word dharma, which I will skip. But in this context, what is important is how we understand Dharma. Now, the Tibetan translation of Dharma is Chu. And Chu means to fix something. It means transformation, amelioration, improvement. Now, this, so Dharma does not mean 
uh, fixing or transforming the material world. It doesn't refer to material transformation. It refers to a transformation within our minds. Since it is also said that the essence uh, of Dharma is uh, ahimsa, non-violence, then I think we can understand easily that the transformation, which is the meaning of Dharma, is the transformation of our minds from being aggressive and agitated and violent into a state of mental non-aggression, non-violence, of peace. And I think that if someone practices Dharma and their mind is transformed into a peaceful, uh, non-violent mind, then it's, Dharma is having its intended effect. And if this transformation does not occur, uh, then it is not. Sometimes people say to me, since I've been practicing Dharma, uh, things have improved. My business is going very much better, and um, I've, I've been able to produce a, a child or two. Now, as salutary as these boons are, I don't think these are direct results of Dharma, <laughs> or at least not the principal result uh, of Dharma. The principal result uh, of Dharma is to develop peace, peace of mind. Ah, peaceful mind Peaceful だって、ピースフォルザーとセンサーだ。じゃ、ルゾーギ、ペナルゾーギ、デワニョアゾンティスガ。だから。ルゾーデワチ、ルゾーンダコ、サムザンミテリアルティスルゾーデワケトゴロ
very difficult to attempt to maintain a constant state of a relaxation. Feeling relaxed, feeling at ease, uh, might be a starting point for experiencing peace of mind, but it wouldn't itself be an unchanging state, so that is not our goal. And also, feeling relaxed, feeling at ease, is, is often simply a product of physical or material conditions. We're talking about something a little bit more than that, something mental, that is not simply dependent on physical circumstances. Feeling at ease, feeling relaxed, is very simple. It's just like on a very hot day having some ice cream and feeling better. But we cannot attempt to live our whole lives in that state of relief that we feel when we have ice cream on a hot day. So true peace actually requires effort. It is not gained uh, in an effortless way. It requires the active and effortful and intentional renunciation of violence. Just as nirvana, for example, the transcendence of misery, requires effort. To achieve nirvana, we have to uh, effortfully renounce the causes of suffering and samsara, and thereby we achieve it. In the same way, to achieve true peace, we must effortfully abandon the uh, causes of violence. That's <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> Chazamigiwadi Luigi, <laughs> Social catch machine, important person, you know. That's the antic territory. Love Shanadi, social, the younger, Benedict Social Lagach is a boss of the scene. That was the corner member, Ned, cut some dash over. That day, Antic Galahare. That the mission that of Jamie and the social of Jess or the Orbata. Social Galahab Sodi Orba. The digital time ever said, Mission Dalla. Kalehabo When we think about the ways in which we harm others, we usually classify them as the ten unvirtuous actions, the three of body, four of speech, and three of mind. To be more precise in our language, we classify the uh, three of body and four of speech as unvirtuous actions, and the three of mind as uh, 
unvirtuous karmic paths. And these are called unvirtuous karmic paths because they are mental tendencies which although they do not directly harm others, influence us and cause us to do those things with body and speech that are directly harmful. For example, if you speak harshly to another person, uh, you are harming them. If you, think, if you think of them unkindly, you are not. But if you think of them unkindly enough, you will eventually probably speak harshly to them. So the three mental unvirtuous actions, uh, covetousness, malice, and wrong views, are actually more like seeds uh, or causes uh, of these seven unvirtuous actions. Just as, for example, the desire to kill someone is what will uh, cause you, uh, if it's strong enough, to actually take action and kill that person. This means that in order to cultivate true peace, true nonviolence, we need to do more than simply uh, restrain ourselves from performing the seven unvirtuous actions of body and speech. We need to actually eradicate in our minds the three unvirtuous actions of mind. Then we will have a true peace of mind. Someone who simply forces themselves out of whatever consideration, social considerations or fear or so on, to not actively harm someone else, who simply forces themselves not to slap someone's face or say something harsh to them, is not at peace. They have actually imprisoned themselves within their own uh, self-restraint. But as long as it is uh, produced by social or external conditions and they still maintain these three unvirtuous states of mind, they are not at peace. In fact, they are boiling uh, with rage. And although they may succeed in not harming others, for example, not yelling back at their boss because they're afraid of losing their job, that doesn't mean that they're at peace. They may not be harming the other person, their boss or whomever, but they are still harming themselves because they're still harboring or nursing uh, malice. So nonviolence, harmlessness, not being of harm means not only not harming others, but it also means not harming yourself. And to not harm yourself, you have to eradicate these three negative mental states. Otherwise, you won't be uh, in a state of true peace. Okay, let's try this big job. I'm doing a running in Dombak Valley as a singer, so charity. That they are. Don't get a good issue of the answers, I shall see in this year's Randy. Janet, talk on that. だじ、ちゃめめさ、だはさんけじむるしゃ。るば。ちゃさんピースで、ちゃめめでてちけばどう。ち。で、ちだんちゃんだ、ちゃんだ、ちゃんでけばよ、まだいね、水すむじゅう
I think there is also a difference between uh, nonviolence or harmlessness uh, and peace. In a sense, there isn't a difference, but there can be a difference in, the, in how people understand these, uh, these words. Because um, peace is supposed to be nonviolence. But nowadays, sometimes um, we engage in violence in the name of peace. Uh, we have people who we call peacekeepers who wander around with guns. And so we have guns in the name of peace. And uh, they'll point their gun at you and say, now you have to be at peace. Well, I guess if they shoot the gun and you die, that's a kind of peace. But ultimately, uh, we cannot uh, create peace uh, through force uh, or violence. To really create peace, to promote peace, we must uh, renounce uh, covetousness and malice or spite uh, and wrong views in our minds. But when we say renounce these things, we have to be careful because there are two different ways that people can try to do this. One is suppression, where you have these feelings in your mind and they're unacceptable to you, so you suppress them. You hide them from others or maybe even from yourself. And the other is eradication, where you actually uh, get these things out of you altogether. It seems that um, suppression of these, a state in which you, for example, are angry, you harbor your anger, but you restrain yourself from its expression, in fact, you never even speak of it, is the type of suppression which uh, Western uh, psychologists and psychotherapists say can actually cause mental illness, where someone has this uh, co state, constant state of internal misery um, that remains unexpressed. I think we need to understand, however, the difference between that type of unhealthy suppression 
and the correct application of the remedies for uh, various negative mental states uh, which are taught in Dharma. Um, if we um, fail to make a distinction between the healthy application of remedies uh, leading to the eradication of these mental states on the one hand and the mere uh, unhealthy suppression of them on the other hand then uh, we may take the wrong approach and uh, as we go on practice dharma uh, merely be suppressing anger and other types of misery within our minds and uh, become mentally ill well that didn't answer nyembo de ade you so so you get the cash open shadangi え、そう、そう言うてはて、全部ワンシェルマ、カルシュレマ。え、ネミシャベソルシュ、モインバ。だでら、シェダンティダンベ、だ、ジンダンウンゲソムロベ。だでにじ、セムジエブチェ、こう
the actual effect, the actual attributes of anger and its antithesis, love. And based on an understanding of what effect they have on us, uh, consciously choose what we're going to do. We may notice that um, love is not constantly present within us, uh, but that anger seems somehow to just happen by itself. We can't just let things happen totally spontaneously. We can't let anger take over our lives and our minds we need to uh, analyze or discuss the situation within our own minds. And if we make a conscious choice, we will have the freedom, the ability uh, to implement that choice. But in order to apply the remedy to anger, you need to know why you are doing it. You need to have made the decision based on an appreciation uh, of the benefits of applying that remedy. If you simply apply it without understanding the reasons for doing so, I think uh, it is unlikely to work. Mangatong,Kazigi,Shuche,Tongine,Tesuji,Nyomoba,Wanyamodia,Lelar,Jigan,Kokasu,Nesu,Automatic,Charge,Dua. That <laughs> だれ、まあ、Zindang won't get the cube, somebody, and they could do Zili Kigumarma. The name do Yana, Chambagi or Yana, Shitagi or that is Chambadilian as you make choice to change this dana. That go casualty. Nazu did a gang her to choice chasing or the decide chasing up. A choice out of the Chambagi go those on the Tati Tangor Chacha, mother. When they same thing, they talk to your sketch, and maybe a sort of what Chamber Nishadan Lang and the old chill Languebe Chig, Yanji Languasar, some sort of Chayan, she said down of Chilan. And Chamber Lang the day I want to do some sort of the Gangalo welcome Shisha. Welcome. The Gangalo welcome gentle color cabaret. The Chig Carswit Namutumu Gangalo Nemzom and the Chosky Yumanuda. The Magic Hansen. The name you sane, Taganazo. Touch over to go out the catch and bridge, train your lunch and get the Sosuki de Dech. Ben to Sosuki, Ben Sanguinaro, the mini search. Two person. One is anger, one is love or something. That name is on a Su Kalanyingi. Shadan Kalanyingi in the Zawa Jenti Kalanyingi. That is Sosu Samda. That is Tashu Yahoche. そして、
Tak dia show dia je. Tapi kalau start time itu dia show dia yang tu kan sih yang dia jual lah tak? Nas. If I use my own experience um, as an example, in my experience, it uh, the more the more reason we see, the more of a reason we see to um, relinquish a klesha, the more we are aware of how much harm uh, our kleshas do. Uh, the easier, uh, more natural, even more automatic, uh, it will be for us uh, to relinquish the klesha, to apply its remedy. As long as we fail to see any reason to abandon the klesha, we won't be able to um, apply its remedy. Our problem seems to be that we have the tendencies toward the good choices and toward bad choices in our mind. I don't think uh, uh, opposite mental states like love and anger can actually coincide in the mind. I think they alternate. Uh, and we have to make the choice uh, which one we want to invest. Actually, I suppose in a sense, I would say that we've all made the choice We've all chosen love over anger. But we need to make a distinction between choice and decision. We seem to have no problem choosing love, but we have a bit of a hard time deciding uh, to stick with uh, our choice. We've all, we may have all chosen love over anger, uh, but we still get, get angry. So therefore, I think it's necessary for Dharma practitioners to not only choose love over anger, but to decide or resolve uh, uh, that choice. It's as though you have two people in your mind, anger uh, and love. And you need to decide which one of these two people, these two advisors, you're going to listen to. And once you decide, once you have chosen one advisor over the other, and decide it on that one. Then give all of your authority, your sovereignty, your power to that one, to the advisor of love and, and not the advisor of anger. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't go to exactly the right time, somebody's going to hit me. Well, they're not going to hit me, but it'll be hard anyway. That <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I was thinking of the same thing. 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 ランシンギカスウェイ。ウェイニスデンバチェ。テレヤ。ウェイニスデンバティ。コロンウェイニスデンバラーレマドテレヤ。コピーライトデイユマバダ。だからかぶしゃれ。コピーライトサデチュトタ
Takanda Nava Sanki with Chedi, Gornishu, but Tiba Chijungi, Yava Chenere, Denusungi Yava Chenere, Yana Chik Labasungi, Jimba Chenere, Takanda Sangolo Tusati, Sem Duyaji Dang, Sem Tawa, Mavaso had Dilea Tuyungare. That Delaco level summary. That they have to tell me about the Kurimish in the Drogo you have induced on it, and it's Jimbo Mijawa. The Kurim Mijabe, Tone, Benji loves me Yamletis in Bina, and Kotomeji, Kashre, Yamzalena, Kurim Tone, Rodero. And Tibachi said, and that's also a responsibility. Kurangi, Lago Tambuchi, Sosunga, Sosunga, and Ski. Then they are the Indusana, and that's the same thing is in doing against the court. That the Nea should church and do Dusana, and Uncle Jiberi Bay and Cochic responsibility, Grandi Lenge, Cora, Cria, nobody should church and do over. The name Dusana, the Dange, Honshe de Age, Tiguchi and Mijashin Sadi, Chisena, Nedura and Gag, Tibig, Garshi, Subsanger. I'm now going to jump to a different topic. Um, there is a famous uh, often quoted uh, stanza or verse which says, do uh, no wrong whatsoever. Engage in abundant virtue. Utterly tame your own mind. And this is the Buddha's teaching. And we are given to understand that this uh, four-line stanza epitomizes uh, all Buddha Dharma. Although when I say it, epitomizes Buddha Dharma, I don't want to uh, be seem to be asserting a Buddhist copyright. In America, we talk a lot about copyright. We copyright everything. But um, the Buddha Dharma is not supposed to be copyrighted. It's not as though we say, well, bodhicitta and the understanding of interdependence are unique to Buddhism, so therefore they are Buddhist by copyright. No one else can use them. It's not like that. Um, these things are the nature of phenomena, the nature of things, and there can be no copyright uh, on the truth or on reality. If we start to assert a Buddhist copyright on reality, and then our fixation will only increase and we have, will have further problems. Nevertheless, this stanza, uh, while I don't wish to assert copyright over it, does epitomize all the Buddhist but teachings. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to get the job. Let it. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, for example, you know, we enumerate types of emptiness. We have the 18 emptinesses, or sometimes the 20 emptinesses. If we then, if we assert copyright, <laughs> Mantra. <laughs> Mantra Sidusanti Tindade, Yi Goba Sudwa Yi Goba Yi Tamebe Nansinle Goba Jazang Azuj Sanga Dositi Vekolia and Daganda Chik Tamebe Nansin Tamjema Jangani Nansi Tamje Tabahai Nawar Chadiaj, then Donabe Azu Namjungi Mandin Summary Lasso Thinking Thought Summary Tigit Summer and Juatani Tigit Samuel and Tanajanguare. That did Tibu Chimbuka Yamare. 
ตัดนี้อยู่ซะเนี่ยตัดนางเจทําเจทาบลไลโคลชาตัดนี้จิกยามเลยเฉกอะเนี่ยจิซันตัดนอนะดิกิซังโลเอ่อตาขาตาจิ
is the word Guya Mantra or secret mantra. And usually, traditionally, when you explain the meaning of Guya Mantra, you explain first secret and then you explain mantra. But since secret mantra isn't so secret anymore, I'm just going to skip the word secret and move on to mantra. <laughs> the definition of mantra is manastraya, the protection of mind. And it means that through the practice of mantra, through the practice of Vajrayana, we protect our minds from the ordinary craving for mundane appearances. That is to say, through the practice of Vajrayana, we purify our minds of mundane thinking, mundane, ordinary perception, and transform our perception of things into pure appearances, the pure appearances of mandala of deities. And this means, this method is unique to the Vajrayana because we do not find this transformation of mundane into pure appearances taught in either the Hinayana or Mahayana. But we need to understand that the transformation of impure perception into pure perception is a mental transformation. It is not achieved through the accumulation of ritual implements. Sometimes people observe Vajrayana practice and they observe that it involves some degree of ritual, so they think that the nature of the transformation is the performance of ritual. And this is not true. And sometimes people think that the essence of Vajrayana practice is to accumulate as many scary tools or toys uh, as you can. For example, I've known instances where one member of a family was a Vajrayana practitioner and others were not. And the Vajrayana practitioner felt that as a Vajrayana practitioner it was his responsibility to uh, possess and keep um, a skull cup. Not a real one, but a fake one, but looked pretty good. And, uh, or a mala that uh, made out of bone with little skulls carved in it and so on. Since other members of the family are not Vajrayana practitioners, they find this troublesome, scary, and off-putting, and this leads to disharmony in the family. That is not the practice of Vajrayana, or secret mantra. To be a, a practitioner of a, being a practitioner of Vajrayana does not mean that you have to keep skulls or replicas of skulls in your home, nor does it mean that you need to keep uh, malas that are, are made of bone or look like they're made of bone. What you do need to do if you're a Vajrayana practitioner is tame your mind. It seems that we have often a misunderstanding about the progress or development through the various vehicles. And our idea of what the, the progress through the vehicles means appears to be radically different from the Buddha's idea. We seem to think sometimes that you start out with very little, that when you practice the lesser vehicles of a Shravaka or Pachyaka Buddha, you're supposed to get rid of all your stuff and have very, very little. And then when you enter the Mahayana, you take the Bodhisattva vow, you're supposed to get some stuff, you need some tools. <laughs> and then when we begin the Vajrayana practice, then you need lots and lots of stuff. You have to have a Vajra and a bell and a Damaru and all sorts of things. So we actually think of the progressive practice of the vehicles as the accumulation of stuff. <laughs> but this was not what the Buddha presented. It was a process of gradually divesting ourselves of impure perception, divesting ourselves of delusion, and not the accumulation of stuff. So this misunderstanding on our part um, is, is significant. Now, this is not an auspicious place to end because I'm ending with a criticism. Traditionally, I'm supposed to always end a talk on a, on a happy tone, a happy point, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to end right here with this criticism. <laughs> <laughs>